I've been using Nostra now for about two or three months and I wanted to make this video so that I could share my top 10 tips and tricks for interacting with the protocol. If you watch all the way to the end and I leave out a tip that you have found really useful when you're interacting with Nostra, definitely go down below and leave a comment. I'll be pinning the most useful comment to the top of the comments because I'm definitely not the king expert of Nostra and I'm sure that there's a bunch of cool stuff that you guys have figured out that I'm not going to be talking about in this video. Heading over to the computer, if you're on Bitcoin Twitter at all, you've probably seen tweets like this that are telling you to drop your Nostra public key in the comments. And if you're like me, you probably have no idea how to remember your Nostra public key. It's like this super long word, like how are you supposed to remember all of that? The best solution that I've found is actually adding your Nostra public key to a text replacement command like exclamation npub. And so I've set this up on my computer and on my iPhone where anytime I type npub or exclamation point Nostr, my Nostr public key is going to be populated so that I can easily share it on places like Twitter. And then hopefully when I tweet this out, eventually more people will follow me. But you can see there are all sorts of giveaways and things that you can be interacting with on Twitter. And instead of going to your phone or wherever your Nostr is set up on and trying to copy it from there and then paste it somewhere else, it's a lot easier to just do npub and then create that text replacement on all of your different devices. And the way that you can do this for yourself using your iPhone is just by clicking down on settings, scrolling down to general, clicking on keyboard, and then clicking up here on text replacement. And so here down at the bottom, you can see all of the different text shortcuts that I've created for myself. And the ones that are relevant to this conversation obviously are NPUB here and Nostr, which are both shortcuts that are going to be displaying my Nostr public key. And I created two just so if I ever type in the wrong one on accident, it will still show my public key. And so to create one of these for yourself, you're just gonna click on the plus button up here. You'll copy and paste your Nostr public key over from something like Damas. So if we open up Damas and we click on profile, and then we click copy up here on our public key. We can come back over to text replacement, paste our phrase, and then make the shortcut maybe double exclamation point YouTube test. And so now if I ever type double exclamation point YouTube test, let's say I'm even just back in text replacement. If I type double exclamation point YouTube test, and I hit space, immediately it's going to fully expand to my Nostra public key. And so that's how you can set up one of these text replacements for yourself. I'm going to obviously then swipe to delete that one because I'm not gonna need it. I already have two set up for my public key. One of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do once you've set up Damas or whatever your Nostra client of choice is, is changing your profile picture. And to change your profile picture on Nostra because it's not some centralized entity, you wanna change it everywhere. It has to be a hosted link on the internet. So the way that I did this was just by Googling host picture on the internet and I was able to find postimg.cc and then I uploaded my AI avatar here to that service and then I put the URL back in the profile picture here, but there is actually a really cool service that is Nostra specific that allows you to host your profile picture and they strip out all the metadata from the photo. And that service is over here at nostr.build slash profile pic. And I'll have a link to all of this stuff down in the description. So you can basically upload whatever profile picture you want to to this website and then post the link to that picture that they give you from this website on your Nostr bio so that it shows up across any different client that you might be using. One of the next things that you're gonna wanna do when you get set up with an app like Damas that allows for apps via the Lightning Network is set up your own LN URL compatible Lightning Wallet. And so unfortunately, this is not going to work with wallets like Blue Wallet, which is my favorite Lightning Wallet, because Blue Wallet doesn't support LN URL natively. And so what you're going to want to do is go to this extension called Get Albi that I'll have linked down in the description. Albi is a browser-based wallet that supports LN URL. If you're looking for a mobile wallet that supports LN URL, I think Zeus is going to be your best option. So we'll see here once we log into Albi, I'm just going to get my password and unlock that now we just have a Lightning Wallet and this Lightning Wallet is actually attached to our Nostr profiles in Damas and across all of Nostr. Any client that allows Nostr tipping, this ret at getalbi.com here up at the top, I would be able to put this address, copy it, and then put it directly into Bitcoin Lightning tips. And while this doesn't look like an actual Lightning invoice or anything, normally you see like a Lightning invoice, it's a bunch of numbers and letters and stuff. LN URL is a technology that's basically allowing you to get a uh, more recognizable version of a permanent lightning address that people can always send funds back and forth to. So this ret at getalbi.com is like my personal lightning address through the Albi app. And to learn more about Albi, once you've logged in, you can click on these little three lines up here and then click on the discover tab. And this will take you to like the homepage of your Albi extension. We can change your settings and figure out what different applications you can use Albi for. On top of that, if I was going to come up here to accounts and click on add a new account, I would have the ability to create any 
number of Lightning wallets within my single Albi account, and I could link them to, for example, other existing Lightning wallets that I already have on my phone, or a node, or any number of other connections that I could make here. Maybe if I had a Start9 node, or a My Node, or even a Citadel or an Umbral, I could do all of those connections right here within this Albi extension. So overall, it's just a super useful Lightning implementation that interacts really well with the Nostr protocol. The next thing you might wanna do when you're getting started on Nostr is you'll see that my profile at least is verified through nostrverified.com. And you'll see if we go to like anyone else, if we go to my buddy MDBTC here, you'll see that he is also verified through MDBitcoin at nostrverified.com. Maybe if we find, yeah, like here's a good one. So NVK is verified through nvk.org. If you actually own your own server like NVK, NVK does here, he clearly owns NVK.org. All he had to do to get verified on Nostr was follow this tutorial here that I'll leave a link to down in the description. Basically, all you need to do is put this Nostr.json, which is basically like a text file, in the well-known directory on your server. And then you'll come back over here to Nostr, you'll go into your settings, you'll click on profile, you'll scroll down to NIP05 verification and you'll type in the URL. If I was going to host it on my own website, I would put it over on ret.blog, which you guys can sign up for down here. It's totally free and you guys can get access to these videos in written form before they come out on YouTube. My website is set up through a self-managed version of Ghost, so I don't actually have access to that well-known folder that I would need to put my nostr.json file in. So unfortunately, I can't verify through my ret.blog website that I own for myself. And so what I did and what a lot of other people do is they go over to a website called Nostr Verified and they scroll down here and you can basically submit a request to Nostr Verified and they'll host that file for you and give you a username. Mine in this case was Ret1 because they didn't want to give me Ret for some reason. Shout out to Nostr Verified, you bags. Just kidding. They provide a really cool service. And so I think for most people, you'll want to do nostrverified.com because most people don't have the access to their own server and they don't want to go through the steps of having to set up, you know, all of the stuff that's kind of confusing. Once you do that, though, if you go back to your profile, you'll have a cool little purple check mark and that will again follow you across all of your accounts on any of these different apps. So right now I'm on Snort Social, but if we looked back on Domus, we could see that I am verified over on Domus as well. It looks slightly different, but it's saying that. The same information. One of the first things that might really bother you when you start using an app like Domus or really any other Nostr client is just how slow the experience is compared to something like Twitter. And the reason it's acting so slow for you is when you click up on your profile here and then you click over on relays, you're probably not connected to any paid relays. And so because you're just using a bunch of different free relays, those relays are more likely to get clogged up and to be delivering you as an end user just a really slow and bad experience. And so what worked for me and what made my experience a lot faster was by paying for this relay eden.noster.land and now all of my interactions with the Domus app are much, much faster. So to just show you what the experience of a paid relay is like, if I go ahead and click on eden.noster dot land up here. I can see the description. I can see how the code was written for this relay and I can see contact information. And then if I want to go pay to get access to this relay, I can click on paid relay here and that will take me to this web page where I can pay 5,000 Satoshis, which is like a dollar or two to get access to this relay. And you can see here, it's just a one-time admission fee. I imagine that if these relays get super popular in the future, that it will be a subscription fee. You can think of like the New York Times, they could theoretically set up, you know, a Nostra relay and charge people a dollar a month or $5 a month or $10 a month or something for access to publish information and interact with posts on that relay. But for now, just know that you can pay a dollar or $2 via lightning to something like eden.nostra.land. And it should drastically speed up your experience, especially if across multiple apps, the experience experience is really slow for you. That being said, it could be a client problem also. So if you're using Domus and you think that like Domus, the user interface, you don't really like it or something about the performance at some point slows down and you wanna try something else. One of the best things about Nostr is that there's a ton of different clients that you can use to interact with the protocol. And another big one has just come out on iOS and it's called Nostr with a U. And so if we close this and we just go ahead and search for Nostr, we can open up Nostr and we can see the exact same posts that we were seeing over on Domus, but now they're on Nostr and we can see that the experience is a little bit different. It's showing me how many unreads I have. The bottom of the screen, it has different tabs, it has bookmarks, it has private notes. 
features that maybe Domus hasn't gotten to implement yet. Having different Nostra clients, even on your same device, and just comparing them to get a feel for which one you like the best, I think is a really great idea. And I think that in the future, if this thing really takes off, everyone is going to have multiple Nostra clients on their device. In the same way that today on your device, you might have a Slack app and a Twitter app and a DMing app like Signal or Telegram. All of these different apps in the future could have an equivalent app built on top of the Nostra protocol. And so whenever you hear of a new client, feel free to check it out because it's very possible that it will be totally different than the other clients that you had previously downloaded. And I'll have a link down in the description to some of the most popular clients that I've come across so far. Next, something that I really struggled with when I first joined Noster was how do I know who the f is even on Noster? The way that I previously found out who was on Noster was by going on Twitter and tweeting into the abyss and hoping that people responded to me. Thankfully, the people that run Umbral's Twitter account are really great and they got back to me and they showed me that they were on Noster and what their Noster public key was. But what I could have done instead is go over to Noster.directory and I could have just typed in in the search field here, Umbral. And then when I searched it up, here it is. And I can see that the exact same public key ending in MHCT is exactly what they sent me on Twitter here ending in MHCT. And so if you're ever unsure about if certain people you're following are on Nostr, you can come over to Nostr.directory and see the most followed accounts, as well as do a search for people by their Twitter usernames and see if they are on Nostr or not. You can see here is my account and here is my Nostr public key. It's also kind of interesting to see how big the biggest accounts are. It looks like the founder of Domus and Jack from Twitter are both the biggest accounts with around 143,000 followers. It'd be interesting to see if this increases a lot going forward and sort of what the discrepancy is between the biggest Twitter accounts and the biggest Nostr accounts. It's like a good way to measure progress. I'm actually really surprised that 143,000 people are using Noster, but it must be, you know, even bigger than that if that many people are just following this one account. That being said, if you are trying to grow your account on Noster, I have not been very successful at doing that so far, despite these videos. Over on Noster, it looks like I only have about 100 followers, whereas over on Twitter, I'm at around 700. And then on YouTube, I think we're at like 6,000 or something, which is crazy. I'm like super happy with the progress here on YouTube. But I still think that the best way probably to grow your Noster account is by growing outside social media followings on Twitter or on YouTube or on TikTok and and then bringing those followings into Noster because I don't think that any of the clients have like algorithmic discovery or some really great way for your posts to get seen by a lot of people outside of, you know, someone very influential retweeting or re nostering the posts that you've already made. That being said, if you're still watching the video at this point, you might be interested in some of the solutions that are out there that can take all of the things that you tweet and immediately post them on Noster. The best place to find extensions and other little interesting things that have been built on top of Noster like this is by going over to Noster.net. And then if you scroll down to the very bottom or close to the very bottom, you can find tools here. And this is just a lot of code that people have written to help enhance the experience of interacting with the Noster protocol. So if I do a search here for Twitter, the one that we're looking for is called, it looks like it's called Toostring or Toster. We're getting very fancy with these names here, but it's basically a Twitter to Noster bot. And so if we click on Toster here, it'll take us to the GitHub. <laughs> I, I don't do, do people know how to pronounce things? I don't these things are like these guides of how to pronounce things are like so crazy, right? I have no idea how to say this. <laughs> is it toaster? It says toaster. Is it the same? It looks like it's the same. Toaster. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So this is called Toaster and apparently it forwards your tweets to Noster. So it's a command line interface. It looks like it seems like what you do is you run this command line interface and then any tweets that your account tweets out after you have this interface up and running, those tweets will get automatically reposted to your Noster account. And it looks like it's being powered by something called Nosterbot and Twint, which are two different libraries. I think Twint is in Python. Twint is this Python scraping tool that doesn't use Twitter's API. And so if we go back to Toaster, Toaster is pointing out here that Twint is a Twitter scraper that currently works, but who knows how long it's going to work. So a lot of these softwares, they probably worked at one point, but I don't know if they will continue to work in the future. But I think if you're looking to do automations between Twitter and Noster, really Noster.net and then looking through those different GitHubs that are posted is going to be your best bet. And I think it's probably worth trying something like this if you're really trying to like growth hack your Noster account. Finally, the last tip that I have for you guys here is just how to set up your own Noster relay. And in this article, he's telling you you can do it in under five minutes. You might want to run your own Noster relay just to back up your own messages 
doesn't have your own history so that you can move those to different relays if you please in the future. Or maybe you wanna run your own paid relay and there are tutorials for that as well on Noster.net that I'll have linked down in the description. It looks like you can do all of that by using this guy's command line interfaces here and following this whole tutorial. I have not done this because I'm actually running an Umbral full node. And what you can do if you have a home server like Umbral or like Start9 or any of these other servers turned Bitcoin full nodes is you can run this Noster relay app that will back up all of the messages that you send on the Noster network. And if you want a full no coding involved tutorial on how to set up this Noster relay backup on your Umbral full node, check out this video up here. That's it for today, guys. I love you all. See you next week.